Okay, so welcome. Um, this video is um, probably the last one I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image on the left or right and some text beside it. Um, so to do this, we need the text and the images. For the text, um, I'm going to use what we call filler text. And filler text is text that we use instead of um, the actual content for our website. Sometimes you use this when a client doesn't actually get you text on time. And you can use pretty much anything, but um, Lipsum.com is um, something that you can generate a number of paragraphs or words and um, just use this, um, so two or three paragraphs like that. And we're going to paste that into our um, website. And for the image, I'm actually going to use the image I downloaded. So to do that, I'm going to actually go into Finder and I've got my downloads and this is the image I downloaded yesterday um, and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to, so Control C and then I'm going to paste it into here. Now I've already done that and called it and I renamed it Beach so I'll just show you how to do that. So rename, just click on that and I'm going to call it Beach. So that's my beach image. Now. I know that's huge, that's 4,000 pixels wide, so, but it's really high quality. Um, I would, if I was doing um, a page with loads and loads of images, I would resize it to be more appropriate. Um, 1.36 megabytes is quite large to download, and you can see that when you hover over it. And you can resize in Photoshop, um, and you can see how we did that, like we resized images um, for the banner um, in the previous video. So that's in, um, sorry, File Explorer, so switching between Mac and Windows. Um, and in Dreamweaver, like you can actually see, because I'm using, put it into the same folder that I have used, and I put it into the Images folder. So back over in File Explorer, um, File Explorer here. So that is my demo website. These are the faults I created website images. So that is the same file structure as that. So that's the same folders. So my banner is that image and beach is that one. So I've got the image um, and I'm going to copy the text. So I'm going to flip to code view and make sure I'm on HTML. And I've got um, I've got my header, which has the na um, the banner. I've got my navbar, and I've got my home page. Now, underneath that, I'm going to put a paragraph, and I'm going to put an image source equals, and then in Dreamweaver, when I do the quotes. It actually helps me. I can I can click through, and it's the beach, and I'm going to close that tag, and then I'm going to go to um, my web browser and go here, and I'm going to put um, this text. So Control C to copy back to Dreamweaver. My screen recording software doesn't like alt tabbing to swap, and I'm going to paste that in there. Now, I know that there's a break here, and because I've got this paragraph here, um, I may want the image to appear um, beside it, so I can either close the paragraph or I can put a break in. I can put a break, and that is a line break in. HTML. So just a break and rather than having a break break it's a single tag and it's got a, its own closing tag as part of it. So that does a line break. So if I have a look at the live view here, so I've got a huge image and remember we said it was 4,000 pixels so that's large. Like, so we're going to fix that up and then we've just got the paragraph underneath and we can see the break after that. So to fix that up, there's two parts to that. One is that we're going to um, float the image and the other one is that we're going to 
Um, no, we'll just float the image. So I'm actually going to give this image, I'm going to say this is my um, there's a class, and I'm going to say left. So I'm just giving it a class left, so that when I go into my CSS, I can actually sit there and I can go dot class. Oh, no, so it's dot left, and I'm going to say float left. Now. I'm also worried about the size of it. So I can give it a second class and I'm going to say this is paragraph image. So this is a paragraph image. So it means that it's with text. So I can label these classes anything. So this is left and it's also a paragraph image. And I'm going to use the paragraph image class to actually give this a um, width and I'm going to say it's going to be 200 pixels. So we're just going to try that. So any paragraph image is going to have a maximum width of 200 pixels. Let's have a look at that. So there we go, that's starting to look alright. So we can start using other styles. Um, so back in code view. So home page. Um, we might wrap our content in a div id equals content and we might and what we're going to do is we're going to close that after there and what this will enable us to do is actually put margins so we're going to, um, it's a class I use hash content and I can say um, Patty, 10px and I can say width um, I'm going to say 90% so it doesn't go full screen and I'm also going to say margin left um, auto margin right auto and then when I have a look at the live view it's centered. Now I also need to have paragraph margin so that there's a little bit of margin around that. So um, let's have a look at that. Go back to code view. So maybe ah, and I misspelled that too. So let's have a bit look at that. So that's a little bit better. So um, back to code view. Content I also want text align and I want to justify it. Um, what else do I need? My paragraph um, content paragraph. So content paragraph. I'm going to I want a margin left of 10 pixels and that um, if we go to live view, uh, sorry, not there. So with CSS, sometimes you do need to um, have a look at what is happening. I don't want the margin left on my content paragraph, so I actually wanted it on my image. Um, padding 5px. And let's have a look at the live view. So we've got five pixel padding around it. And we can increase that. Now we can do exactly the same um, sort of thing with, um, like, so if I wanted to, it floated right. I can create another class right. And I can say float right. And all I would need to do is change the left here to right. And when I go back to my live view, it's floated over on the right. I can increase the size of that. Um, so I'll just scroll this down. Um, I might say I want it a bit bigger. Live view. So that's a bit bigger. So it's 
I can play around with that. Um, now, I maybe want slightly more modern around there, so I might want um, to put slight curves on this, maybe. Um, so I want a curved image. So how do I do that? Now I could go back to the resource that we used in class or I could go, okay, I know that W3Schools has lots of resources. So um, curved images or rounded. So I think rounded is the rounded corners. Curved or rounded. So we use the border radius. You can give any element curves like that. So, and these are different examples. So the first one here um, gives it a background and all that sort of stuff. But we really only need the um, border radius and maybe the site, um, the size of the border. So if I wanted it green or if I didn't want it um, anything, I could specify that. Now images are slightly different. So rounded image. Um, they still use, um, they still use border radius, um, but they don't actually have a border, they just round it. And if you wanted a um, border around it, you would actually have to specify that border. So um, I'm going to use that. That will give you a completely round one. And back over here in my CSS code view. So my paragraph, I think, so I've got 5%. 50% will give me round if it's a square image. I'm going to just give it a 10 pixel and look back in my live view and just slightly round it there. Now, in CSS, I can um, do things like um, CSS. I can do things like um, gradients, text effects, shadows. I can rotate, I can animate. So all these sorts of things so like um, can be applied. So if you have a look at that, this just uses CSS. So um, if I wanted to do the image, we actually need to um, use something like this. So I'm going to show you um, W3Schools actually have a try it yourself thing. And this is showing um, the animation. So it's example, four seconds. So example and it's got this here and it runs for four seconds so that's um, animating between um, from red to yellow over four seconds so from red to yellow so you can that's a color um, animation um, you can do rotation um, so this one here is still color you can delay them in you can set how many times they want so this here will actually take you through a lot of the animation properties so you can um, you can actually have a play around with doing some animation so you can animate um, position you can animate um, color so color So let's do colour there. So you can do lots and lots. This is um, a bit more red, yellow, green um, animation. So um, we've got any examples of position. So, but you can animate animate position. So you, um, you might want to search that up. So, for example, um, well actually, I won't show you that. You can follow through this yourselves. That I'll do that in another video. Um, this one's already getting a bit too long. So I'm just pointing out W3Schools as an example of like I can do use it to find lots and lots of things um, in there. So last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to preview 
this. I'm going to select the preview in Chrome and um, homepage. That looks not too bad. Um, possibly change the font a bit, put a bit uh, more space there, um, make it maybe the width um, the same, and that possibly will be. Um, I could use a media query to um, do that, make it responsive, but that's beyond. Um, what we're doing for this year level. So that's about it for this video. Um, so how to put text beside it and how to find um, different bits of help on W3Schools. So thank you for watching.